day three for Arm Recognition editorial team at IDEX 2017 as official online show daily news. More than 1,200 exhibitors from all over the world are in Abu Dhabi to showcase latest innovation and technologies for the defense and security areas. the CEO of uh, Incas Vehicles, uh, UAE local company, and we established our company in 2012, and uh, till now we delivered over thousands of vehicles uh, since that year, and uh, we present our four new models. Behind me, the, uh, our new product uh, we designed this year, it's uh, Incas uh, uh, Titan D. It's a V-hole, standard two level of protection. It can carry up to 12 person. Our main customers countries, it's Africa, Middle East, Asia, and of course UAE. Yesterday we signed a couple of successful deals with the government of Saudi Arabia. And I hope this year it will be successful for us. Our vehicle is the the less weight than others, for example, and the lifetime of our vehicles is longer. And the level of protection we can increase without uh, adding the weight on a uh, chassis. We will increase our capacity. Uh, right now we can build almost 120 units per month. And nearly in a couple of years, we want to increase up to 250 units per month. Our customers uh, number one, they are not just customers, they become our friends, like a family members. And we are happy to receive any comments from any of our customers. If we need to modify it or upgrade or do anything, which is because the all customers, all countries, they are individual. And uh, you cannot uh, build car uh, for stock without knowing to whom you are building. Because any countries and any customer, they are individual and we need to build the vehicles as per their requirements. So any comments, we are happy to receive them and uh, do as per their request. Behind me is the booth of Yugo Empo, a state company of Serbia who produce a wide range of military equipment, including combat vehicles, drones, artillery system, and armored personnel carrier. The Milos is a 4x4 armored multipurpose combat vehicle, also called BOV M16. The general layout of the vehicles is standard, with the engine at the front of the vehicle, the crew in the middle, and the troops compartment at the rear. There is two doors on each side of the vehicle and one hydraulic door at the rear. The Milos is fitted with a remotely weapon station armed with a 12.7mm EV machine gun. The Milos 4x4 can accommodate a total of eight military personnel, with the driver and the commander at the front of the vehicle, and then two more seats back of the driver and commander. There is four additional seats at the back of the vehicle. Another new product of Hugo Empo at IDEX 2017 is the Strichian, an UAV helicopter which has the capacity to fly at the maximum speed of 180 km with a cruising speed of 160 km. One of the highlight products at IDEX 2017 is the Lazar 3 produced by Hugo Empo from Serbia. The vehicle is shown at IDEX 2017 in two different versions. The first version is the APC, an armored personal carrier, and the other one is an IAV, infantry fighting vehicle. The main differences between the Lazar 2 and the Lazar 3, the new vehicle is motorized with a new powerful engine and a new suspension to increase the mobility of the vehicle. The APC version is fitted with a remotely operated weapon station armed with a 12.7 mm EV machine gun. The troops compartment is fitted with 10 individual seats, especially designed to protect the crew against mine blasts. On each side of the vehicle, there is five bulletproof windows with firing port in the upper part. The infantry fighting vehicle version of the Lazar 3 is fitted with a Russian turret armed with a 30mm gun, 
a 40 mm automatic grenade launcher and a 7.62 mm coaxial machine gun. Tri-City has been a really long producer of uh, armor vehicle and military product in Southeast Asia. We are located in Thailand. Uh, we have our product in three main uh, categories. First is the track, wheel and landing gear. We supply to your OEM in the regions, Asian, European. We are also uh, making a run flat system in, in, inside the Thai for any uh, 4x4, 6x6, 8x8 vehicle. We also supply to uh, European, Asian country. Third product is we are also making an uh, armor vehicle. It's called First Wind 4x4. It has been produced in Thailand. Uh, it has been mass production to supply in Thai, uh, Thai, uh, Thai Army, Thai Police, uh, Thai Marine, and other countries in the region. My name is Sari Sadi and I'm the Managing Director of Robo Shelters. We are based out of Vancouver, BC and we create the most efficient redeployable shelter per square meter. Our redeployable shelter comes at a standard size of 16 meters diameter with 200 square meters. This shelter can be deployed in less than 10 minutes with one or two people. The Robo Shelter comes in a packaged trailer system so that it's easily transportable and does not require any construction or setup. It is made so that efficiency is pinnacle and so that the manpower is focused on the mission rather than construction. This is our first launch in the military division and at IDEX 2017. We will be exhibiting in other exhibitions, uh, ScanSec in Canada and DSEI in London next. And uh, this is our first military product till date. At IDEX 2017, there is a large presence of the South Korean defense industry. At the booth of Kanwa Defense System, there is the K-21 and the K-9, the latest generation of infantry fighting vehicle and howitzer produced by South Korea. The K-21 is an infantry fighting vehicle designed and manufactured in South Korea by Anwar Defense System. The vehicle is in service with the South Korean Armed Forces. This is an infantry fighting vehicle fitted with a two-man turret armed with a 40mm automatic cannon coupled to a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun. The K21 can carry a total of 9 military personnel, including the driver at the front of the hull, the commander and the gunner in the turret, and 6 infantrymen in the troops compartment at the rear of the hull. The K9 is a self-propellant Owitzer 155mm developed and designed in South Korea by Anwa Tequin. The vehicle is in service with the South Korean Armed Forces and recently India has purchased also the vehicle. A new product unveiled by the South Korean Defense Industry at IDEX 2017 is a new light medium tank. This vehicle is based on the K21 chassis but using a new Cockrell 105mm cannon. My name is Naeem from Straight Group. Uh, we at Straight, we've been in the business of armoring vehicles for the last 25 years. We're a Canadian company with several locations, manufacturing locations worldwide. Uh, we have a wide range of vehicles um, on display at, at IDEX. Um, for starting uh, at the outside premises, we're displaying the Alligator, which is a third generation 6x6 we have developed. Uh, we're also displaying the, the Cougar, which is second generation 4x4 light armored vehicle and a checkpoint. You see me behind me, the Alligator, which is, um, as mentioned, 6x6. It has a 400 horsepower uh, Cummins engine and Allison transmission. Uh, while the Cougar is um, a 4x4 light armored vehicle, uh, it is based on the Land Cruiser 79 chassis. Um, and it's a specialized vehicle for special forces um, and uh, off-roading used uh, in many areas in the Gulf region and in Africa. Um, we're also at display here, we have the um, armored checkpoint, which is proving to be very popular in recent, uh, recent years in areas for protecting embassies 
and special uh, special high security premises. We have 13 vehicles uh, on live demonstration at IDEX, ranging from light armored vehicles to medium armored vehicles and the heavier cars, uh, which are uh, six by sixes. Um, as light uh, armored vehicles, we have the Cougar, we have the Cobra, and as medium armored vehicles, we have the Spartan, we have the, Gladi the Gladiator, um, and uh, for the heavier vehicles, we have the Typhoon, we have the 6x6 Typhoon, and as you see behind me, we also have the Alligator. This first international uh, presentation of this unmanned multi-purpose vehicle. The wheel formula here is six by six. The suspension is independent. Right now, we have anti-tank guided missiles with a laser uh, guiding. We have 12.7 machine gun here installed. We have the small grenade launchers installed from the front side, from behind. We have a 360 degrees uh, panoramic camera installed here. Have day channels, we have night channels, laser range finders per each siding complex. Uh, why, let's say, why it's multi purpose? Because we have an opportunity to make this Phantom be a source of power due to the availability of generator, electricity, etc. Another new product at Ukrobron Prom stand the Ukrainian defense industry, is the new BTR-4E. This vehicle is now fitted with a new turret, armed with two cannons of 30 mm. On the left side, there is also two anti-tank guided missile launcher. Today we are presenting Limpid Armor. This is the integrated whole lens from Microsoft uh, to the helmet, and it's used uh, now in the armored vehicle's uh, driver. There is a camera built inside, so you can see at the same time 120 degrees. And uh, there is a mode that you can switch back, left, right, right. But when, in any case, you can turn your head and you will see through the armor and you will see what is, what is outside. Right now, this helmet is integrated with the cameras uh, set there on top. And uh, you can uh, uh, see it through the Wi-Fi channel.